So I'm sitting in front of Indian River Antique Mall in Melbourne, Florida. I'm going to take you inside and show you around a little bit and feature certain booths um, and maybe do some shopping too. So why don't we go in together, okay? I'm on aisle six in booth number 98 and look at what she has in her locked case. They are handmade kaleidoscopes. They are just so, so cool. What does she have? The tag says, there's the tags back there. It says stained glass kaleidoscope for $34. Those are so nice. I think I look little jewelry and stuff in here. Then she has another locked case. Let's see what she's got in here. Oh, she got some Jim Shore up on the top shelf. Those are Olympic glasses back there. Pretty cool. Those are Pokemon cards. Got coins. Kokeshi doll. Um, Disney memorabilia. Nice. Old Kodak. Oh, that's a pretty picture. I have to stand it back pretty far to get it. There we go. Isn't that pretty. Oh, look at this bowl. It looks hand blown. You can see the air bubbles in that. I don't think that's Murano. What she has? She has a large cobalt bowl, bowl, $42. Let me see what she's got over here. Oh, she's got more art glass. If you don't know me by now, I like art glass. These are like Murano, I don't know if these are Murano or Murano style. Oh, there's a fused glass plate. It's probably a Peggy Carr. It could be Sid and Stricker, but most likely it's Peggy Carr is the artist on that. She's got an old phone right here. And that's more what we're used to. this the woodland surprises hmm. cool people collect this stuff he's a cutie look at that it's, oh it's it's not attached mushrooms with a little bunny under it <laughs> they all come off oh adorable Look at this Art Deco lamp. You just don't see that stuff anymore. Let me see what she has on that. $62. That's beautiful. A little beaded fringe. 
a bust. I don't know who she is, but she's pretty. Some artwork. These chairs, look at these chairs. Wow, they're in pristine condition. Nice chest. I found this Murano peacock. Look how beautiful that is. I think it's, let me see if I can see. It's in the mirror. I can't know what how, how much that cost. I think it says 152 on that. Really nice. Here's a lamp that's made out of driftwood. Let's get a closer look. There's the price tags hanging right here. Let me see here. $239. If you go into a regular furniture store and purchase something like this, it's going to be a whole lot more than $239. She has some cute stuff in this booth, too. An old desk. Looks more like a child-sized desk. I'll give you a closer look here. An old camera. I like the way this dealer displays her things. She has a really nice decorative touch. Here's a booth full of Pyrex. This is the Amish butter print pattern, very desirable. And the gooseberry, the pink gooseberry. She's got a lot of Pyrex in this booth. And some more Jadeye and Fire King. Hazel Atlas on the bottom there. And some Fiesta Wear. That's Neil the Frog. They used to um, sell that at Sears. And over here, she's got a lot of um, pink cats. Let me see what these are. Oh, that's left in. A lot of collectibles in this booth. Here's some Fiesta wear. This looks like Fenton. Yep. That is pretty. It's satin glass. Here's some satin glass Fenton. I bet you that glows under black light. Let me see. I have a, I have a black light in my purse. Let me check. Okay, here's the test. Oh, look at that. It turns green. called custard glass. It has uranium in it. That's what makes it glow. I 
I thought that was a person standing there. <laughs> you gotta be funky to wear that. Let's see what she has in her locked case here. Looks like some Yadros. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me at Indian River Antique Mall. I didn't get anything this time, but there's always next time. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.